What is going on everybody? This is a video that I know you guys have been wanting for a very, very long time. So let's get started. Welcome to our crib. Come on in. Finally, the day is here. We're gonna show the house. Cool. So, so, it's obviously a tiny home. It's like a tiny RV, so it's, there's not that much to show around, but we're gonna show you anyway. Why not? Let's start where the action happens, shall we? All Good right. Way. Where are you going? You said you were gonna go where the action starts. Yeah, this area is where we drive to places. Is where we see wildlife. Is where this is where everything happens. <sighs> All right. So we are in a 2006 uh, Fleetwood Flare. That is the model is 33R, and it's 34 foot. So, by the way, this is a clean version of our RV since. We clean for you guys. It's like kind of like when the mother-in-law comes into town, it's like, you clean up everything. I can't believe you didn't let them think this was the way it always is. <laughs> no, remember in an RV, small clutter is big, big clutter. So if we're working or we're cooking, it's like, yeah, this is very cluttered. So Paul, why don't you show them your area first? I can do that. Okay, obviously the driver's seat, everybody hopefully knows what the driver's seat of the RV is. We have the camera here that we shoot everything out the front of the RV and the camera is simply a Samsung S7 phone. That's it. I've got it on a suction cup and the suction cup allows me to stick that to the instrument panel and it covers the tachometer, the gauge that shows you RPMs. Automatic transmission, you don't need to know RPMs. You don't need to see that stuff anyways. We've got the Kenwood DVD player in here that allows us to play DVDs through the TV. We've got our automatic leveling system here once we get parked and we know we're gonna be able to put the slides out I just hit auto the jacks drop down automatically levels the coach I don't have to worry about that stuff myself when we're ready to go I hit retract all jacks come up and off we go up here is the my DVD some of my DVDs CD collection actually uh, some of the 80s stuff you know how that goes We've got our book the thousand places to see before you die so we did replace the speakers up here as well. It had the little six and a half inch speakers up here. So we put some booming six by nines up in there. A lot better sound. We did replace these little lights here. They had some goofy little reading lights. We've got the new lights up there. So that's kind of cool. This is kind of our office supplies. Keep our office supplies up in here. And then I guess I'll let Lori take over on her side. So this is my area when I travel. Not too much to see here really. I have this tray since the house and I was gonna get rid of it last minute I didn't get rid of it put it here and it has worked so good so perfectly because things don't fall from it and we can have books that we're using while our travels or the audiobook that we're listening to that moment so when <coughs> Paul sometimes is rendering a video or something like that we can put the laptop here and still drive so it has been extremely handy besides that I mean it's like here's where the GoPro is so when you see us talking while we're on the coach this is where it is and to PMS is like always handy here too. And this one's here in the dash is like actually is where our cell phones go. So it's kind of cool to have it. So when you're driving, they're not on their way or falling everywhere. And that's about it. This area here is like uh, Paul has his area. I have my area is where we have like personal belongings where we don't go into our things. It's like, so super organized mine. Paul's, eh, not so much. <laughs> and here's where our remote controls are for the different stuff, DVD, TV, all that stuff. All in Velcro, basically. This area here is where our entertainment stuff is. Like the DVD player, DVDs that we watch when we're boondocking. We have the antenna here. Uh, and right now, for right now, we have some of Aussie's food up here because we stock up before coming to Alaska. So just to finish the driver passenger side, uh, we have the command hooks here, like from my side and also Paul's side. In my side, I usually hang my purses, just my two color purses, depending on the outfit, you know, girls. <laughs> and on Paul's side, he usually has his jacket here, but he also has binoculars just in case we need to see something. And we also have here our cell phone booster. So here's where we have it plug in basically. And the next is the office area. But before the office area, everybody always asks, 
where is Ozzy's litter box? It's one of the number one questions in our town. And here it is. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> there is where Ozzy's litter box is at all time. Traveling time or when we're stopped anywhere. It's like, it's actually a perfect spot for it. We don't have to smell it when we're parked somewhere. It doesn't smell, but it's like, it doesn't interfere with the rest of the house. But <laughs> then let's move into, this is my desk area. This is actually where I work. Like I have my laptop and this little desk, we actually got it from Ikea. Remember I said Ikea is not so bad. It's like they have small stuff for small spaces. This is from there and we have our supplies in here. So it just works perfectly. In this area, this area is where we have miscellaneous. It's like stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else in the house. We have the vacuum up here. We have uh, some goodies, Aussie goodies. This is his food and this is cables. This, this was the biggest thing for me, like where you put all the cables in the RV, right? From laptops, from chargers, from everything. So this is what I did with it. And here's where the checks are for the business. So business supplies still. And now we're onto the living room. Again, this used to have a jackknife uh, sofa and we actually wanted to switch it because we didn't like this jackknife concept too much. This is where we start to get into the what we think is going to be the... We think it's grandma style, so... Yeah, some people like it, we don't like it. We like more simple colors, all just like one color, not like patterns. Yeah, so this, the blue pattern stuff is gonna go. So we switched this sofa, uh, more updated look as well. And also, uh, it's a trifle, so it actually expands to a full bed. That is very handy when we want to watch movies too because the TV is on the front in our RV, we can just totally put it as a bed, put the cushions right here, or put pillows, and just see our movie laying down. So that has been a great upgrade for us. And then here we have a nice relaxing spot to, to watch, movies. watch the movies and kick back, have a coffee or two, and or soda, or so refreshments. <laughs> It's perfect for, for watching the TV. Yeah, the three of us, we like to kick back here, including Ozzy. Ozzy will come and curl up here too, while movies. And if we have a guest, we can always have a, a guest or two steep here as well. Yep, that we have many times. <laughs> yeah, but don't get any bright ideas. Okay, Ozzy, let's show them our dining room. And this is dining room slash Paul's work, work area. Here's where he edits all the time. Like he spends most of his time in Derby Here's where he is all the time. So here's where the ma other magic happens. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but that's about it. I mean, really not too much to show here. <coughs> Up here, these cabinets, we actually switch all the glasses because he used to have this granny pattern and we never liked it. So that's one of the upgrades with it. Well, not the cabinets. But well, no, the cabinets aren't gonna go. <laughs> But this kind of, this stuff is gonna go. And like he's, you know, nothing in any of these yet. And one of the other upgrades we did was reupholster the dinette. This dinette used to be like all flowery and blues and grays. It's like, we didn't like it, so we have reupholstered it. We're probably gonna change this out because we don't like it. Uh, Same thing with this. Fabric. Some fabric reupholstery and things. And last but not least, for people with cats, here is where we put Aussie scratching post. This was just the leg of the of the uh, table, and we just wrap it with this rope. And now he uses it to scratch it all the time. He loves it. Like it's his number one go-to every morning when he wakes up. Part of the kitchen, but part of the front. Kind of like here's all together, right? Multiple multiple functions. It was how to deal with our shoes coming in and out from the RV. We always had like shoes everywhere, and our way to deal with it was with a coat rack. Actually, if you see here, our shoes. Like this is a coat rack that we just like uh, used to have like a thing for hang hanging into the uh, door and we took that off and just screwed it on and that's how we have our shoes now here. And this is a huge massive kitchen that we have here in the RV. Huh. It's actually tiny. 
when you go and see trailers of it wells with the island and all that stuff it's like it looks huge ours is not otherwise tiny but it's still i make it work so it's pretty amazing we have two full double sinks we use one as a uh, with a dish rack obviously to dry dishes and same thing with this backsplash in the kitchen here that's gonna go we're gonna probably eventually we might replace the countertop. We we don't know yet in this coach. We don't want to get, you know, this is the first coach. One of the reasons we did an older coach is that we really didn't know if Lori was going to like the whole RV thing. We didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a big badass coach just to find out that she didn't want to do this. We went with something older, needs some work. So some of this stuff is going to go. We're going to put some nice tile backsplash, not tile, like a glass backsplash there. So that's what we're going to do in this area. And here's where we have our dishes and other stuff to store our food of course the junk drawer that everybody has to have one then utensils and these are glasses and coffee cups and these are more utensils silverware so not too much to show under here there is a garbage container we have recycled regular garbage and our cleaning supplies as well so this is what's down here here is just our pots and pans and other stuff. I'm gonna do a video about the kitchen. And this is an RV, uh, normal kitchen. I mean, you see this in every single RV uh, with our convection microwave, that this was an upgrade for us. We actually switched that one not too long ago. It used to be just a regular microwave. And because we are vegetarian, spices is a big deal for us. <coughs> this is how we flavor the food. So I have tons of spices back there, plus the spices up here on the side. So all these like bulk spices as well. Fridge is just standards. I found out that chalk uh, paint or chalk uh, markers, you can write on top of it and doesn't matter, it comes off. So you usually will put like an inspirational kind of quote for us that we and like. And what does that one say? This one says, you don't get what you wish for, you get what you work for. So that incentive us to work every day. And here's the pantry. I mean, it's like not huge, but also just small pantry, but with essentials. So that's kind of cool. And this concludes the kitchen, I believe. Right here. So the bathroom is where we did the most changes, I, I believe, I think, where you can really see the dramatic change. So. Come and check it out. That leg is not gonna work. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> so in the bathroom, it's like, this is the first thing I did. It had this like a little strip of wallpaper that I hated so much. So I just covered everything with this, painted the cabinets, painted like everything pretty much I painted. So this was a big project for me. Like it took me quite a while to do this. Here's where we keep our broom. I know a lot of people have a hard time like hiding their brooms and all that. Here's where we keep ours. Like right here, command two, command strips there. And here is the infamous, famous or infamous composting toilet that everybody is like scared about. So this is a shower. It's like a tiny little tub thing. I don't know why they do like a tub thing. I'm assuming that in case there's an overflow, but oh, hold a second. I just had a shower, so there's wet stuff in there. <laughs> but this is our shower. It's like not big deal either. Just command stuff to you. So they're extremely handy. Keeps all our things together. And this is an Oxygenix uh, shower head. Full size person, you can do your shower thing. It's got some, got lots of headroom. One of the things that's gonna go is this stupid accordion door. That thing is definitely gonna go. We don't like that. That's how you open and close the shower. We're actually gonna put a, a, a rod in here that folds back out of your way and then comes out this way and gives you this nice, better area for showering and stuff. But the Best thing ever from the from the bathroom is this rod. Give us so much more space when we're showering inside. And then when you're not using it, it's totally out of the way. So we love that rod. It's also where we dry bathing suits if we go swimming and uh, or put towels if they're like extremely wet. So it works perfect. Last but not least, 
the sink. It's like we switched this one uh, when we were in Pennsylvania. We have a tiny little one uh, that it was an RV plastic one, but it broke. It actually uh, just broke from the center and had to be replaced. And we found an over the counter because you cannot really fit it under because of the space, but an over the counter and it has just worked so perfectly too because when we're on the road, we can put all the other stuff here and it will not go anywhere. It just stays there while on the road. So that was an amazing upgrade. So now we move into the bathroom and our closet area. And this is, look, this is Paul's closet, full on closet with two drawers. And he also has this too, large nightstand as well. And this is one of the reasons we love this RV because I have my own full on closet with four drawers right here. So, just a quick peek in that one too. So, a quick peek into our closets. Okay. So, the upgrade we did in the bedroom, it was more about the lighting fixtures on the bedside. Like, these were like all outdated, very grandma style. And also, we painted the wall, the entire wall we painted it, because it had also that little wallpaper all around. And it's so hard to take all that off. You, you will take the wall with it almost. And over the bed, we have our books. Like when we go into Boondock and we want to read. And on this side, it's more like our outdoor can gear. And this has the bicycle helmets. It has the drill, always important, like to tie stuff in the RV or fix stuff. This is a, also to put on the back of the bicycle and carry stuff. There's hardly ever anything to tighten up or fix in the RV. Always, always, so always have that stuff handy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's about it. Oh, and I'm missing. This is Aussie Nook right here. This is his little bed. He loves it. And he looks out the window all the time. And now we're gonna show you what is under the bed or the edge of the bed. Everybody wonders where we put our shoes. Actually, our shoes, we found this canvas shoe rack and there is where we put in one side all Paul's shoes and on the other side all my shoes. And under the bed we put extra shoes, an extra backpack and also our winter or summer uh, spread for our bed because one is heavier than one is lighter. So there's where we have the extra stuff and our 12 volt fan that is back there. And this is our linen closet to say it like that. It's where we have extra sheets, towels, all that stuff. Everything is up here. And the other thing I there. just like hit my head. <laughs> and this one is the panel. From here is where Paul had to run like all the wiring from the solar from here all the way to the front. So yeah, was, that was interesting to say the least. And obviously where we hang our towels when we're on the road or to dry. Um, and behind it, behind it is where we put our cables. HDMI, charging cables. So, thanks Jerry for that one. Jerry gave us that, that was awesome. So thank you for joining us on our tour of our home, our little home that is our RV. But I think it's time for you guys to go. So thank you for coming though. <laughs>